I'm glad you bring up the idea of a work factor and, and the resources. I guess we hear people saying adversary is going to prevail or we need to be paranoid or hyper paranoid. How do we strike a balance between how paranoid we are and the price we pay for it? Well, one, I think typically we aren't paranoid enough. Actually, I would say first we need to, when we design things, we need to assume there's an adversary, which a lot of people don't, don't do, in, particularly when, uh, when products are rushed to market. And then I don't think that we assume a, a, an adversary is as powerful. We assume the adversary is stupid, which is, again, a bad, bad idea. And then I, I think we can even really uh, be a little more paranoid than that and assume they can do a little bit more than we think, maybe a lot more, depending on how important the information, the, the system you're trying to protect actually, actually is. Uh, when it comes to trade-off, though, that you could put an infinite amount of resources making, making something secure. And uh, conventional wisdom says, and this is actually, I would say, best practice from industry, is to perform a calculation. So the amount of money you're putting into securing a system shouldn't exceed the value of the item you're actually protecting. If you're building a vault to, to hold a $10 item, something's wrong. So that's part of the calculus. Uh, the other calculus, I think, is I personally, I don't want to live in a, a world of perfect security. The amount of pain in, involved in our day-to-day -day lives uh, makes an overwhelming amount of security very, very unpleasant place to be. Uh, so, so it really comes down to risk. Life is about risk. Banking is about risk. Crossing the street is about risk. So each organization has to determine how much risk they're willing to take. Understand that security costs in terms of time and money and resources and frustration of your actual uh, user base. And there have been times that I haven't been able to get into the building where I work because of some you know, glitch in the security system where I forgot my ID card or my pass card in another place. So it comes at a cost. 